With your vehicle's hands-free power liftgate, you can open and close your liftgate with a simple kicking motion below the bumper. Here's how to use it. First, approach the rear of your vehicle with your key fob in close proximity. As you get within two meters, the logo projection turns on automatically and it will stay on for 60 seconds. Now, aim your kick over the logo or at the sensor for older vehicles. Ideally, you should do it in one quick, straight motion. The lift gate will delay for two seconds before opening, so you can step safely away from the lift gate. Your tail lamps will then flash and a sound will chime to alert you that the lift gate is opening or closing. To close the lift gate, you can kick again or press the button on the lift gate. Want to adjust the opening height? Find the power lift gate knob or button in your vehicle. Depending on the model, it can be a knob on the driver's door or overhead panel, while in some vehicles, it can be a button in the lift gate area. Then set it to three quarter mode position. Once the lift gate is open, you can adjust it manually to your preferred height. Then save the setting by pressing and holding the button on the lift gate until the tail lamps flash and a beep sounds. When using this feature, keep in mind that your key fob must be within one meter of the vehicle for your kick to work. If the logo projection turns off, you can still open and close the lift gate with a kick. Make sure you are only carrying one key fob at a time because the logo projection won't activate when both key fobs are near your vehicle. For more information about where to kick, check your owner's manual. If you'd like to customize the kick function, go to Settings on your infotainment screen. Tap the Vehicle tab and select Comfort and Convenience. Then tap Hands-Free Liftgate slash Trunk Control Settings. From there, you can turn it off completely. Change the kick function to On, Open Only, or select On, Open and Close. You can also operate your liftgate using the buttons on your key fob. Just press the liftgate button twice to open or close it. And remember, you can always open or close your liftgate manually if you need to. You can open it through the exterior switch, close it through the switch on the liftgate shut face, or use the interior switch to open and close the liftgate. It's that simple.